Mike Littlewood is back home, back to his field of dreams, back to where he first played college baseball 28 years ago. It's been a while, probably longer than I'd like to admit, but uh, it, it feels like home, it really does. Littlewood grew up in Taylorsville, Utah, and was part of the first class of Taylorsville High School. He went on to play third base for the Cougars, hitting a career best 393 with 18 home runs his senior season. When I played here, it was basically a chain link fence and bleachers, um, but we were still competitive on the field. We loved to play. Um, the team got along. I think that aspect hasn't changed. There's a different feeling here. Uh, I went to school here, and um, you know, when you bring the spiritual side of, of things into it, it's just a perfect place. This is a great job, and, and I would say it's my dream job, but so was Dixie. I mean, Dixie was my dream job. And Alta High School is my dream job because I like coaching baseball. That's what I, I really love doing. And that certainly showed at Dixie State, where Littlewood coached the Rebels to 563 wins. That's the most in school history. He also led the Rebels to eight league titles, as well as the national championship in 2004. But he wasn't just the head coach. Groundskeeper, um, salesman, marketing guy, uh, we did it all. No longer a jack of all trades, Littlewood now turns his attention to turning around BYU baseball. He brings with him his entire staff from Dixie State. This is an important year for us, I think, just at BYU baseball as the whole family is concerned, just to kind of start over, build a base uh, uh, with our system and be really fundamentally sound and play really hard. That's, that's what, it, what I know what people will see. Wins and losses, who knows? Last year, it was 22 wins and 27 losses. This year, Littlewood inherits 16 returning players from a team that finished seventh in league play. His goal in year one is top four in the conference and a trip to the West Coast Conference Tournament. We're just trying to change the culture a little bit. When you walk on the field, you need to expect to win. In my mind, if the guys go out every single day and play hard and, and give 100%, that's what I'm looking for this year, and the wins will come. It's not football and it's not basketball, it's just baseball. Important to him, but to the fans around here, it's kind of like, uh, we have a baseball team? He loves baseball. He's played the game in high school. He played it at BYU where, Dave, he said he was uh, an average player, uh, but he hit almost 400 in his senior season. Went on to be drafted by uh, the Brewers in the 27th round. Hmm. Said he was a very average player in the pros. Played single A for one, one year and then decided that was enough. Now, if Cougar basketball fans stare at him long enough, they'll go, wow, where have I seen this guy before? <laughs> Division and they've seen him basketball. as an official, right? That's right. Uh, 16 years as a Division I referee. He said he, co he participated in two Elite Eights and that he was uh, figuring that this might be the year he broke into the Final Four. But when he knew the BYU job was coming up and if he was going to get the job, he said there was absolutely no question about it. He would give up refereeing and would love to come back to BYU. Had to put the whistle down. That's right. He's coached at every level. I imagine T-ball as well. But he's got a challenge. This is a tough baseball league. It is a very tough baseball league. Two ranked teams in the West Coast Conference right now, and they do have a very tough schedule. But he has coached at every level. He coached American Legion for Skyline High School, Alta High School, independent team in St. George, and, and then, of course, uh, took Dixie State to the national championship, as he saw in the story. So he has a very good background, extremely motivated, very anxious, and I think he'll be very successful here.